The lube filter is replaced more often than any other serviceable part on today's engines. To ensure normal oil filter service life and prevent oil leakage or possible internal engine damage, it is important that correct installation procedures are followed. Most Hastings spin-on filters include pictograms on the filters themselves, showing the proper installation procedures. When installing a spin-on filter, first unscrew and remove the old filter, making sure the old gasket is also removed. The use of a filter wrench may be required. Wipe the filter mounting base with a clean cloth to remove any contaminants. Remove the protective shrink wrap from the new filter. Check that all required gaskets are included and inspect the filter for dents. A dented filter, no matter how small the dent, should not be used. Apply a thin film of clean motor oil to the filter gasket. Do not use grease. Line up the threads on the filter with the threads on the mounting base carefully to avoid cross-threading. Screw on the new filter until the gasket comes into contact with the base. Follow the instructions of the filter manufacturer for final tightening. The pictogram on the filter will tell how many additional turns from gasket contact the filter requires. If the filter cannot be hand tightened to the proper torque, Hastings recommends using a filter strap wrench. Place the wrench near the base plate of the filter to avoid damaging the filter during installation. Using a filter wrench other than a strap wrench is not recommended as some filter wrenches incorporate metal pins designed to help remove the filter. These pins can dent a new filter which could cause the filter to leak. A filter that is not properly tightened to the manufacturer's recommendations may leak or experience gasket blowout. Make sure the engine oil level is full. Start the engine and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and recheck the oil level, adding oil if necessary. Again, inspect the filter for dents. A dent creates a concentrated area of stress, causing fatigue, which can shorten the life of a filter. Filters that are dented prior to or during installation should not be used. There are many types of systems, new and old, using cartridge filters on the market today. When installing a cartridge filter, some common instructions can be followed. Clean the outside of the housing before removing the filter to keep contaminants out of the lube system. Unscrew the housing retainer nut from the housing cover to open the housing. Remove the filter and all old gaskets. Wipe the inside of the filter housing with a clean cloth to remove contaminants. Check the new filter to make sure that all required gaskets and seals are included. Also, inspect the filter for damage. Damaged filters should not be used. Reinstall the filter and all necessary gaskets. After replacing the housing cover retainer nut, make sure the engine oil level is full. Then start the engine and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and recheck the oil level, adding oil if necessary. Remember, when disposing of used oil filters, follow all environmental regulations in your area.